Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna have a little bit of fun playing with Chanel lippies. I have gathered a bunch of my favorite nude lipsticks and lipstick combos that is going to fall in the range of a nude. Um, nude can mean a lot of different things to people. You can have these sort of pinky beige nudes other people are going to love those sort of warm peachy nudes and then of course there is the sort of brown beige nudes as well so i was recently organizing my chanel lippies and i thought you know what it would be kind of fun to kind of share my favorite nude lipsticks with you as well as my favorite lipstick combos. So if you are somebody who gravitates towards nude lipsticks, you are somebody who loves Chanel, then let's go ahead and have a little bit of fun doing some lip swatches of my favorite lip combos and lipsticks from Chanel. Okay, today is going to be all about the nude lip and I'm so excited I'm going to be focusing on my favorite Chanel nude lippies and I will give you a heads up I am somebody who prefers a bit of a shiny lip so I have a bunch of the Rouge Coco Flash that is my personal favorite formula, but I do have one of the classic Rouge Cocoa lipsticks that is a perfect nude, as well as one splurge worthy lipstick. Now, the first thing I feel like you need for a good nude lip is a good nude lip liner. And for nude lips, I like to use the lip liner in Nude Brun. This shade is the closest to the old version. They used to have the perfect nude lip liner. And then when they re-release these, um, the formula is definitely a bit more creamy, super long lasting, but they did not bring back their classic nude. Instead, they brought back Nude Brun. Um, I love this one, and then I also love Yvonne, and that one is a little bit more mauve, but this one runs a little bit more mauve. You can totally get away with it with your nude lippies, but when I'm focusing on a true nude lip, I'm gonna go with the first one here, which is Nude Brun. I'm going to give you swatches of everything that I'm going to be showing you today. The first one over here is Boy. Then we have Easy. Next is Amédié. Then we have Jour. And we have Moment. The first five are going to be Rouge Cocoa Flashes. Then over here we have Rouge Cocoa Moisturizing Lipstick in Adrian. And then we have got 31 La Rouge in Rouge Beige. Okay, I am going to give you a swatch of the lipsticks first without my favorite lip liner and then I will share the ones that I actually like to pair with the nude brun lip liner so just so you can kind of see the colors by themselves first number one we're going to start with boy this is my ultimate favorite if you have not tried boy I think this might be one of their best sellers and this nude is going to be in your soft neutral mauve pink side of neutral so oftentimes you'll either have sort of the warmer like nudie brown or peach nudes and then you'll have some of your beige pink 
nudes as well. So we're starting out with Boy. And again, this is like one of their best sellers. I think it sort of looks great on everyone. And this one also pairs so well with your nude brun lip liner. Or if you want to go a little deeper, you can go with Pavone as well. So pretty. First up is Boy. This is the shade Boy. Next we have Easy. And this one is a bit more of a warm toned pink nude. And this is the shade Easy. This one's gonna lean slightly warmer toned than Boy. The next shade I have is one of my newest favorites. This one is actually going to be a pinky peachy nude lipstick, but it is quite sheer and I find that it does something a little bit magical on my lips. So this one I would say is going to be for those of you that love that peachy pink nude. I think you might like this one. And this is the shade Amédée. And then we're gonna go a little bit deeper. The next one I have is Jour. And Jour is a medium warm pinky rose cream. So this one's still gonna lean into that nude area, but definitely kind of in the rose nude. And this is Jour. Next we have Moment. And this one's gonna look a little bit deep in the tube. And this one's gonna be your deeper nude shade with a touch of brown in here. And this looks particularly good with the uh, Nude Brun Lip Liner, but this looks fantastic on its own. But do not be scared of what it looks like in the tube because it's actually quite sheer and a very beautiful color. And this is the shade Moment. And I love Moment for fall. It has just a little touch of that brown in there, just sort of screams fall, kind of keeping your eye a little bit cleaner, a little bit more of a bolder lip. Um, but this definitely falls in this camp of a deeper nude shade. Okay, moving on to a Rouge Cocoa lipsticks. These are the original lipsticks that are super moisturizing. I still love this formula so much. And Adrian has been a repeat purchase. I think my very first lipstick was Mademoiselle. And then I think I bought Adrian next. And it is just such a classic, perfect nude color. And I'm first going to put this on by itself, but this is another one that I love to pair with the Nude Brun lip liner. So again, if you are somebody who loves a peachy nude lipstick, you're going to love Adrian. It is just absolutely beautiful. I am going to go ahead and line my lips a little bit with this nude brun because it looks so good together. So 
So I'm just going to come and slightly define. And then I will just touch up. So this is the combo with Nude Brun with Adrian. That combo is going to make my lips just look a little bit bigger when I define with that nude shade and then put that lighter kind of in the interior. That'll make my lips just have a little extra oomph. And then for a splurge worthy lipstick, I did recently pick up the new launch, the 31 La Rouge in the beautiful glass case from Chanel. And within this, you can buy the refillable lipsticks and I was able to pick this up in the shade Rouge Beige and it is like such a perfect nude color. It's got a little bit of sheen in it um, so it again kind of gives your lips a little extra oomph and I'm going to put this one on. And this is the shade Rouge Beige, number one. I don't know if you can see online, but it's got just a little bit of sheen in it. Um, so pretty. And again, I like to um, wear this with either my nude brun or my pavone if I want to. I will line my lips and then I will top it with this guy and it just looks so beautiful. I absolutely love this splurge worthy lipstick but again totally understand why someone may not want to spend that much money. This is a lovely keepsake item and you can buy the lipstick refill for $80. So definitely that's the splurge worthy item. And then I had one more that just popped in my head that I feel like I should share with you. Okay, the other one that just popped in my mind, and this has been a long time love, this is the La Rouge Duo Ultra Tenu. And this one is in tender beige number 69. So on one side you have the liquid lipstick and then on the other you have the beautiful gloss. And this is for those of you that want a lipstick that is going to stay all day. But tender beige is just like the perfect nude color. Let me just show you right here. This is the color tender beige and I'm going to put this one on. We'll let it dry for a minute. Once it has dried, then you're going to take the other end, which has a beautiful gloss on it, and you're going to coat your lips with that. And this is another great option as a nude from Chanel. Tender Beige, I think, is another top seller. This tends to look good on everyone. Um, I would say it's not like too cool or too warm, sort of right in between. And this one is going to literally stay on all day. Literally the gloss will sort of go away if you're eating and drinking and such, um, but you will still be left with the lipstick underneath. And this is actually one of these lip products that I have repurchased before. I've just always really loved Tender Beige. Then for sort of my go-to nude lip that I personally like to wear and that is because I love doing a lip liner and a simple gloss and a beautiful combo is the 
nude brun um, lip liner and then I'm going to top it with melted honey and melted honey is just oh, so good it looks so beautiful on your lips it can be used as a topper so let me give you a little swatch of melted honey and then I'll show you the lip combo with the nude shade here. It is just so pretty, you guys, this melted honey. So first of all, what I will do is line my lips and then I'm going to kind of fill in with the nude brun as well. So I will just come over here And then I'm going to just take my finger and kind of fill in the interior with this nude brun, which is a pretty color on its own. And then I'm going to top it with my melted honey. it becomes a really pretty nude shade with a little pop from that melted honey lip gloss. Okay, I feel like we could be here all day swatching all sorts of Chanel lippy products, but we're gonna end it here. These are some of my favorite Chanel nude lip sticks and combos and I primarily focused on lipsticks that have a little bit more moisture and shine. I'm a bit more mature and I find that um, a lipstick with a little bit of shine in it makes it a little bit more youthful for someone of my ilk but if you are a fellow fan of these kind of nudie shiny lipsticks I think you might find something you like within this range. So as usual, I love to hear from you. What was your favorite lipstick color or combo? Let me know if you have a particular shade that I must pick up. These are just some of my ultimate favorites and some of them are definitely repeat purchases. Adrian, repeat purchase, boy, repeat purchase. And my newest favorite shade is a meaty A. This one is peachy pink and it just is so pretty on the lips and it just seems a little bit magical. So that has been my newest flash that I have picked up and I have just been obsessed with it. So I hope you found this video helpful, maybe a bit fun, and I will be back with another video soon.